For this video, I'm going to be talking about how to beat Conquest here in MLB The Show 22. It's a single player mode within Diamond Dynasty. It's pretty much like a board game if you've ever played the game Risk. It's pretty similar to that. So that's what we're covering here today. As always, be sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you're not already on the road to 100,000 subscribers. Maybe comment down below any advice or tips you have for other people playing Conquest. How did you get it done fast? And then maybe if you have any questions that weren't answered in this video, maybe leave them in the comments section somebody could hopefully help you out but i have not played conquest this year there's multiple maps i'm going to be focusing on the nation of baseball map because that's kind of the main one at least to start and then you can really apply this strategy to pretty much any conquest map and if you're able to beat the usa conquest map you should be able to beat all the other ones but as we can see it says conquer the nation of baseball to earn this all-star mike piazza prospect packs stubs and more zero out of 15 goals completed now there's different turns and everything like that and there's also an in-game tutorial if you want to listen to that as well i'm probably going to move the camera up here just so you guys can see everything for this video except the little bit of the board behind me but we're not going to be really focused on the spaces behind me here in this video but just the first thing that i want to do is take a look at these goals over here so the first one acquire 50 million fans then 100 conquer 100 territories and a territory is just a space on the map so if i were literally to go and attack that space then i would have one more territory so that's what it's meaning when it says territories and for conquering 100 you get this 79 curtis granderson for capturing each of the divisions you get a prospect pack. For example, for capturing the NL West strongholds, which is going to be their icon on the map, there's the National League, West American League, and obviously all the other divisions, right? And for conquering a single division's strongholds, you get a prospect pack that contains six prospects, I believe, and you get to choose two of them. And those cards are needed for the Adley Rushman collection. And these prospects will eventually be needed for whatever the big collection is, stuff like that. So it's a good idea to probably try to grab all these cards at some point. And one thing to keep in mind is this is the twin stronghold. There's a chance that the Brewers take it over and there becomes a Brewers logo right here. And that's the case for every stronghold. However, Whenever you take over this stronghold, no matter who's controlling it, the Twins, Brewers, Cubs, Padres, if they somehow got there, no matter what, whenever you conquer that stronghold, whenever you attack and beat that stronghold, it's going to count as taking over the original team. So even if one team's taken over all the map, it doesn't really matter. It's still going to count as getting those divisions done. So you get the prospect packs. You get an 84 Jared Weaver right here for acquiring 200 million fans. At 300 territories, you get a conquest banner. Kerry Wood, relief pitcher, 85 overall. Kerry Wood for capturing all the NL strongholds. 86 veteran Didi Gregorius for capturing all the American League strongholds. And for conquering every all 30 strongholds on the map, you're going to be getting Mike Piazza. It says 31 just because you have yours as well. But Mike Piazza is like the end card for this map. Not a bad catcher, especially early on in the year. And then every time you conquer all the territories on the map, you're able to get 10 show packs. So missions that are repeatable are conquering every territory as well as the strongholds for getting those prospect packs. And I was going to go ahead and hopefully start Conquest here in the next day or two. I figured it might be a good idea to just get a little bit of a video going on it. But what I like to do first is try to take over the Rocky stronghold and then move my way west on the map. Because I like to try to take over the far left side and then kind of snake my way around, you know, go up and down, kind of like a snake across the map. Because that way... No one's able to get behind me. So if I have the entire west side of the map, I know no one's going to be able to attack me from behind. And if you toggle the map view, for me, it's square down in the bottom left. You can kind of see how many spaces or how many fans you have, I should say, on your little icon. Now, I start by, like I said, trying to get the Rockies as fast as possible. The first turn that we have is the attack turn. So you want to select your stronghold. That's where your fans are. And I'm going to select it, and then I select the place that I want to attack, which I'm going to just do right here, try to get to the Rockies as fast as possible. So we're going to go there. And now I go from 12 to 11, but this spot has one left over. So let me go right here, 11 to 10, and then 10 to 9. They try to attack me, get me down to 5, but now their spot's down to 1. And from here, I would personally attack the Rockies. It's going to be on all-star difficulty for me. If you don't want to be playing on all-star difficulty, you don't have to. You can go ahead and try to build up your fans. You could maybe, 
if you wanted, go to just surround the Rockies a little bit more to get more spaces because every three territories you have on the map, you're getting more reinforcements on your reinforcement turn. So I'm going to go ahead and play this stronghold on all-star difficulty. You can always try to get more fans and play on a lower difficulty. But for me, I feel like the easiest way is just knocking out the Rockies stronghold right away. Just because that way I'm not going to have to deal with them for the rest of it. You get to use your Diamond Dynasty teams for these games. So I'm going to go ahead, try to get this W and then keep taking over the map a little bit. Keep working our way west because that's what we want to start with is the west portion of this map starting with the Rocky stronghold here and I got this stronghold done no problem for me also difficulty is really not that bad I try to play if I can on just rookie difficulty however the first stronghold is usually a little bit of an exception for me and I don't know if I mentioned this if I didn't all of the strongholds every game in conquest is a three inning game every game that you play within conquest mode is going to be three innings and they're never going to be any more than that but we just took the rocky so now they're gone from the map now we don't have to worry about them someone could always take over this stronghold that i have right here but i'm just going to go ahead and use the remaining spaces i have to not attack these rocky spots yet eventually in a few turns i'll take those over myself but I don't want to accidentally lose the simulation somehow, and I just want to try to take as many spots as possible. If I'm not mistaken, every three spaces you have on the map, you get one extra million reinforcements on your reinforcement turn. This is to steal fans phase. On this phase, you can steal fans from a stronghold, so maybe if you didn't want to play on all-star, you could always attack the rocky stronghold, and as you can see behind me, Whatever difficulty you play on, if you win that three inning game in the Steel Fans phase, then that's how many fans will be gone from a stronghold. As you can see, the Twins right here has seven. So if I were to attack the Steel Fans phase Twins on this turn, and I would do it on Veteran difficulty, that's two million. It would go from seven down to five. Now, with that being said, I'm not somebody who ever steals fans. I literally always just skip this phase and skip to reinforce. As you can see, I have 3 million reinforcements, 3 reinforcements, and every 3 spaces you have on the map, that's going to be an extra 1 million. And I like to try to block off the east from the west. At the same time, though, I also like to try and just get the west taken over as fast as possible. So I might just already head up towards the Seattle Mariners. So I'm going to put one in maybe right here. I want to make sure my strongholds are surrounded too. That's another thing, but I'm going to just start heading west a little bit. As you can see, I put my fans there, the reinforce phase, this move phase that you guys are seeing right now, I can move fans from somewhere. Say I can move them here. I can move them to this stronghold if I wanted to. It's just kind of, if you have an extra spot around with a lot of them where they're not really doing anything, it might be good to just move them to another territory. But other than that, I pretty much mainly just use the attack and the reinforce phase. So I have four spots here. So it goes from four to three, three to two and two to one and then now on my next reinforce phase now i have four million fans and what i like to do as well is make sure i'm surrounding my strongholds that i have because that way hopefully they're not going to get taken over because to be able to reinforce the spots that you have on the map you need to have a connection to a stronghold because if this connection gets broken right here like say this spot were to be gone I couldn't reinforce these other ones. Now, they're connected to the stronghold, so technically I could. But if I only had this stronghold, you just really need to make sure you're not getting disconnected from your other strongholds. And it might seem like a slow process, but they've increased the simulation speed this year. And one thing to keep in mind as well is it really adds up. Like, I'm already at seven reinforcements per turn, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep trying to take as many of these empty spaces. I like to try to create a wall between the... Uh, the east and the west side of the map you might be able to see that I'm doing that a little bit now with that being said it's not always the best move to go ahead and do that just because if you're not paying attention you can easily get it broken by one of the other teams kind of breaking through so if you're going to be making a wall kind of like I have so far here today you really need to make sure that you're staying on top of it and making sure other teams are not taking it over also maybe you need to make sure they're not going to be taking over these other spots that you have on the map as well that might be something that you want to watch out for in addition to watching out for your wall being taken over. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the cam off and just kind of do my own thing a little bit. Try to take over some of these spots and I'll hopefully see y'all in just a few minutes. I'm actually kind of glad this happened because as y'all can see, my little area down here got broken off. So I can't reinforce this spot because it got broken off by the Diamondbacks right here. So I got to make sure I try and get this back so I can keep reinforcing that portion of the wall 
and everything like that and i'm really trying to make sure too like i don't want them to attack this stronghold so i'm going to add some fans there so hopefully they don't attack that because they could challenge it and if they do then you're going to have to play that game so really be paying attention to your to attention to your strongholds that's why i like to surround them i just don't really have the reinforcements to want to try to do that right now so i'm going to just try to prevent them from attacking me i'm going to try to close off this barrier and then i'm going to just try and probably get more of the west side of the map now one thing I want to mention is a lot of times for me, I like to go to the main menu of Diamond Dynasty, go to customize, and then I like to edit my team name and details. And then I think it's the main color because they're red on there. So I like to just make it an easy color to see on the map. So maybe something like this teal or a, a green or a pink or something. So I'm going to go ahead and probably honestly i think i'm gonna do green i think i think like a lime green is gonna be easiest for me to see i can go ahead and advance that and then if we go back to single player and then conquest and the map you guys can see my spots on the map are now green so it's just a little bit easier for me to see exactly what i'm doing exactly what territories i have and that's just maybe a little bit of a helpful tip in case that's something you want to look into to make it just a little bit more easy on the eyes to see what spots you actually have because there was a lot of red teams for me So I feel like this is a pretty good place to pick up the video. So as y'all can see, I'm just taking over this west side portion of the map. And I'm just trying to get every territory. Now the reason I've surrounded the strongholds instead of attacking them is because when you surround a stronghold, just like when we get cut off, that's why we got to make sure our stuff is reinforced. When you surround a stronghold, they can't do anything. So as y'all can see, this is the Padres territories. This is the Diamondbacks. These territories can't do anything because these strongholds are surrounded. They don't have a way to connect to them. So the only thing that these strongholds can do that I have surrounded is attack the spaces next to it. Now, I try to keep mine in about three. As y'all can see, I got three next to pretty much all of them. Usually that's pretty good. Sometimes they'll maybe take me over, but otherwise they only get me down to two or one when they try to attack me so i'm just going to keep going ahead and trying to just fly through these reinforcements this is literally what i do so fill the reinforcements in one tab if there's any spaces i can move fans from you know i see this two right here i'll just grab an extra fan move it over there and then i'm literally attacking here now where the move fans turn is going to really come in clutch sometimes is when you're attacking strongholds so I'll go ahead and just finish attacking this space so I can kind of show you guys how I get it set up because I start attacking strongholds sometimes as I go just because sometimes I don't mind playing on all-star or if I'm able to do veteran I'll just do as I go at the end a lot of times I'll do it as I go once I get to one I'll take it over but a lot of times to start out I do it exactly this way where I'm taking over the entire west side of the US so let me actually move the camera I think up here just for a second so i'm not blocking the simulation totals uh hopefully y'all don't mind having me up here but i'm literally just simulating these games against these spots on the map you can't simulate stronghold games but you can simulate the other ones but you do have to play the stronghold ones and i'm just trying to take over like i said all these spaces that are on the west side of the map because i don't want anybody able to get behind me so we should be able to have a finish on this turn unless we get really unlucky on uh on one of the simulations which i don't think we should but 16 to 1 right here and we can see i think the athletics maybe attacked me up there so yeah there's a spot i'm missing so i'm just gonna try to take it over while i'm on this turn we lost the simulation there i'll go ahead and do it here and we got it done there so as y'all can see it looks like i'm not missing any spaces on the west side there's obviously these right here we'll get to that in a little bit probably not in this video just because i'm not planning on beating the map right now but this is exactly what i do so i got that 15 here i'll skip to my steel fans phase i'll just make sure i reinforce everything just so they hopefully can't attack me even while i'm attacking the strongholds or whatever I might be doing so i'm just checking in making sure everything's still three around all the borders it looks like it is i'm also checking to make sure okay uh, i, I want to make sure i'm about one behind the closest to me so there's an eight here so i'm trying to make sure the ones connected to it are seven we got a six there five and a four here so i gotta reinforce this part a little bit i'm just gonna do a lot since i have reinforcements left over and for attacking strongholds okay i'm gonna just start with the mariners i'm gonna pretty much start at the top work my way down and now is when i might just try to take over as many strongholds as possible so as you can see i'm just going to go ahead and do this spot right here and if you don't have enough fans 
I would say 19 attacking it would make it so you are playing on all-star difficulty or higher, okay? And then 18 times 2 is 36. So I'm going to have 37 fans, hopefully, and I'm just going to be able to get that by moving them. 37 fans or higher would make it so I'm on veteran difficulty or better, okay? So you need double the amount of fans attacking if you want veteran difficulty, if I'm not mistaken. 19 times 4 is going to go ahead and, you know, 20 times 4 is 80, uh, but 19 times 4 is going to be 76. So I want to have 70 to be safe, 78 or higher. I'm just going to actually get them to 80. I'm going to get them to 80. I'm going to get them to about 80. And then we should be good for now. Now it should be able to get us the rookie. Yeah, so it looks like it's four or more times fans for rookie difficulties. So make sure you keep that in mind. It's going to be double for veteran, but then quadruple for playing on rookie difficulty. And at this point, I would attack the Mariners on this turn. Then I would attack the Giants on this turn. Then I would go to the next turn, set up the other strongholds, then attack the A's, the Dodgers, the Dodgers, the Padres, the Diamondbacks. And then I would literally just snake across the map. I would probably go down and do Houston, then up to this Houston, and then up to the Twins, the Twins, then back down to the Brewers, White Sox, Astros, then probably down to the bottom right, do the Braves, Marlins, cut up, back to the Braves, uh, probably White Sox, White Sox, and just really snake my way around the U.S. So that is how I beat the USA Conquest. And then just once you're able to beat this map, you should have a good enough understanding of Conquest where you're able to beat all the other maps. So I hope this video helped out at least one person out there. I'm not by any means the best Conquest player in the world. This is just how I usually end up doing it. So I hope this video helped out. Like I said, at least one person. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out. So I decided to play a little bit of this over on my stream, twitch.tv slash twin gaming TV. And I went ahead and just surrounded every single stronghold. So now all I got to do is play 28 three inning games on rookie and or veteran difficulty. You'll notice if you look at the top right, quadruple 25 is 100. So I got to play this on veteran. Everything else right now looks like I'll be able to do rookie for now but something to keep in mind if you save them all for the end sometimes you might be forced to play on veteran instead of rookie difficulty